I felt a certain guilt at having made a promise that was not meant. But promises like mine abound in every corner of his bleak world. After months of knowing him, I asked him his name. Sahib Alam. He does not know what it means. If he knew its meaning, he would have a hard time believing it. Unaware of the fact that his name actually means Lord of the Universe, he roams the street with his friends, an army of barefoot boys who appear like the morning birds and disappear at noon. Over the months I have come to recognize each of them. Hey! Mega! Chill! Hey! Hey! Travelling across the country, I have seen children walking barefoot in cities, on village roads. It is not lack of money, but a tradition to stay barefoot is one explanation. I wonder if this is only an excuse to explain away a perpetual state of poverty. My acquaintance with the barefoot track because leads me to Simapuri, a place on the periphery of Delhi, yet miles away from it, metamorphically. Those who live here are squatters who came from Bangladesh back in 1971. Saib's families among them. Simapuri was then a wilderness. It still is, but it is no longer empty. And structures of mud with roofs of tin and tarpaulin, devoid of sewage, drainage or running water, live 10,000 rag pickers. They have lived here for more than 30 years without identity, without permits, but with ration cards that get their names on voters list and enable them to buy grain. Food is more important for survival than identity. If at the end of the day we can feed our families and go to bed without an aching stomach, we would rather live here than in the fields that gave us no grain, say a group of women in tattered saris when I asked them why they left a beautiful land of green fields and rivers. Wherever they find food, they pitch their tents that become transit homes. Children grow up in them, becoming partners in survival. And survival in Simapuri means rat picking. Through the years it has acquired the proportions of a fine art. Garbage to them is gold. It is their daily bread, a roof over their heads, even if it is a leaking roof. But for a child, it's even more. When you can find a silver coin in a heap of garbage, you don't stop scrounging, for there is hope for finding more. It seems that for children, 
garbage has a meaning different from what it means to the parents. For the children, it is wrapped in wonder, but for the elders, it's a means of survival. The fact that they are discarded shoes of some rich boy who perhaps refused to wear them because of a hole in one of them does not bother him. For one who has walked barefoot, even shoes with a hole is a dream come true. But the game he loves so intently is out of his reach. गोला मोड़ पे चाय की दुकान पे काम करता हूँ अब चिंटू भैया मुझे महीने के आठ सौ रूपए देते हैं और खाना साथ तो क्या तुम इस काम से खुश हो आया चिंटू भैया हिस फेस आई सी हेस लॉस द केयर फ्री लुक The steel canister seems heavier than the plastic bag he would carry so lightly over his shoulder. The bag was his. The canister belongs to the man who owns the tea shop. Saib is no longer his own master. Okay. 